So what difference can a GPU, a graphics processing unit, make to your overall content creation? Let's look at it in Adobe products such as Premiere Pro and After Effects using my Ultima Audio PC build. What we really want to do is squish down those rendering times, make them faster, so we have less time twiddling our thumbs and more time content creating. EVGA were cool enough to send this card through to me to test out. It's the EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. It's a beast of a card. It will easily handle 4K, but I'm pretty sure it might even do some stuff with 8K. This card is pretty super cool. EVGA are well known for creating quality products, and uh, I'm excited to see you've got a DVI connector on the back. You've got uh, three display ports, HDMI. This really can handle a lot of outputs if you need it to. The EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti is powered by a 6-pin and an 8-pin power connector, which will go to your PSU, your power supply unit. And I believe you need over a 600-watt power supply to run one of these. So make sure you pay attention to that. Let's get it installed into the computer and find out how it works. Let's take a look at Adobe After Effects and find out how the EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti improves performance here. So when you first load any project inside After Effects, it's going to be only using your CPU unless you tell it otherwise. So let's play back this logo animation here. Pretty fast and zippy with around 11% CPU utilization. If I want to use my GPU, I need to go into the file menu, project settings, and change the use under video rendering and effects from Mercury software only to Mercury GPU acceleration brackets CUDA. Click OK, and then I can go back to the beginning of my After Effects project here, play it back, and again, as you'd expect, 13% GPU usage and around 13% CPU usage. So they're sharing the load there to give you a better playback experience. What about rendering out though? Let's go into File and then Export, add to render queue. This is going to be with GPU acceleration. So I'm going to click render and I'm also going to time this on my stopwatch app right here. There you go, 21 seconds thereabouts, nearly 22 seconds with the GPU. Now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to go to the project that I initially had. This is a 4K rendering that we're going to do. File, project settings, switch off the GPU acceleration, work with the CPU only, file, export, add to render queue. And again, we'll run the timer on this one. As you can see, using the GPU is a significant time saver compared to using the CPU only. Even though it's my Ryzen 2700X, I get a result of 1 minute and 27 seconds thereabouts to render a simple logo in After Effects. Whereas when I'm using my GPU, it's just 22 seconds. That's a four times improvement or 400% improvement using a GPU over just solely a CPU inside Adobe After Effects. <laughs>